Spatchcock Funk here, and we are making one of our favorite things in the world. These are Bon Mi All Night Sliders. Now, it's a traditional Bon Mi style that we're gonna roll with. We got a pork belly up in here, we got all the classic ingredients. And the Bon Mi is one of our favorite things ever to eat. It, the Vietnamese cuisine is this crazy blend of Southeast Asia and France, and we're gonna actually put that together today for you. This is an awesome appetizer, and it works out great. The first time I had a Bon Mi, my boy WKSB FM took me to this restaurant um, called the Key Yin Cafe. And we walk in and I felt like I was Han Solo walking into the cantina on Mos Eisley. It was super cool. People chilling, rolling dice, playing cards. And a woman sees my friend Keith. She knows him really well. And she just looks at him and nods. And he goes like this, too. She came over, brought us teas. We sat down and talked while she came out and bought us brought us the most beautiful banh mi sandwiches ever. So since then, I've always loved making these sandwiches. Let's walk through it right now. The protein, the star of the dish, is pork belly. Now, we made this pork belly. You can go to a great butcher shop and get pork belly. You can, you can get some pre-prepped too that you can just cook in a pan. But what we did was we used sesame oil, a little garlic chili paste, covered it, and then roasted it for an hour at 500 degrees. And then for 45 minutes, at 350 degrees and it comes out the most juiciest, fattiest, deliciousiest, bestiest things ever. This is pork belly and this is the really the star of the dish. Let's build a sandwich. Now, usually the banh mi is a bigger piece of French bread, but it always uses baguettes, French bread. We are using French bread today here. This is part of the French influence. So take your French bread, we cut it into smaller, about three inch, two and a half inch pieces so they can be sliders because we love to share and sliders are the best for sharing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we made homemade chicken pate, which you can do on your own or you can buy this in the store pretty easily. So spread a layer on the bottom of your pate. This is again, more of the French influence, the pate. So we've got this going on there. Then we are going to put on two fatty, juicy, just be, look at how beautiful that is, pork belly. After that, we use daikon radishes. Now, you can make this on your own. We got them from Han's Grocery because we love the work they do and it's just a little spicy, different flavor. And the texture of the sandwich is awesome. Different crunches, different smooth, fatty, buttery, beautifulness. So we've got our daikon on there. Then the next topping is kimchi. Kimchi is basically pickled cabbage. So we put that next. And now we've got crunchy, different vinegary flavors. We've got salt, acid, fat, and a little bit of heat because what we've also done is we've made a garlic cherry using some cherries, Luxardo cherries. You can use any type of cherries you want into a garlic cherry mayonnaise. And then, You've got the most beautiful bon mi ever. Now you're gonna see the beautiful cross section, pork belly, pate, daikon, kimchi, garlic cherry mayo on beautiful soft French bread. It's like a pillow to heaven. The flavor profile, the way it just complements each other, every single bite is just perfect. So we're glad to share this with you. Make them sliders to share with others. Have a great day. Love y'all.